Hello and welcome back to my office. I am Boss of Lie, and today I'm going to be going back into the long dark. You know, as everyone loves so far. Which is wonderful, I think. I think it's wonderful. I left the lamp on all night. Wonderful. And I'm thirsty. Yeah, I know, I know. Food for you. Drink up. Let's get this party rocking. Alright. Now I'm I'm about to head back to the dude that needed help because, you know. Gotta go get him some help. And it's gonna be a long walk. Oh, good job. Good job. You sprained your wrist and you wasn't even had to how? How did you even do that? How does one sprain their wrist by walking down a hill? At least I can get rid of some of the weight from bandages. Oh my gosh, dude. Sprained your wrist from falling. You didn't even hit the ground. How's my health? I can use another painkillers. Let's use that. So much lighter now. So much lighter. I wonder if I can continuously develop strength over time and become so strong that I can carry anything and everything. I'm headed in... No. Well, because of the way I went, I would have to go around here and then through there. It's... It's been much easier if I just stayed on the railroad. Would have been much easier. So I slept for the entire day and it's almost night time and I am light years, light years away from where I'm supposed to be. You know, it makes me so mad, I just want to... I wish deer would actually stay there whenever you walk this close to them. No. In real life, shoot, they'd be gone. I'm talking about gone. See, I'd have been, I'd been over there by them logs, and they'd already, already been curious. Man, I'd have been running yet, but they'd have been curious. And if I'd have got much closer, booking it. I'm talking about booking it. Look at this place. You see all this? You see all this artistic design? No, not me. I could never. I, I couldn't even dream of that. Log trucking. Who, what, where? Dude, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Cause trust me, y'all made me so mad. I would not mind. It, it would even be my pleasure. It would even be my pleasure. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm probably not gonna hit the shot, but don't do it. Yep. That's what I thought. I told you not to. You never listen. They just never listen. How close am I? Okay. I'm getting on the right path. Not quite there yet. I'll give the game this. Is I don't think... Now, branches and stuff may spawn in, but I don't think anything despawns. Other than, like, maybe branches when they start piling up. It's like, okay, there's so many branches and then they'll despawn. But I don't think any, much of anything else, like, spawns in or despawns. I know in, like, survival mode, that's supposed to be... From what I've heard, that's supposed to be one of the major things, is that... What's there is there. I mean, you can't go to a place, you know, loot it, and then come back 30 minutes later and there'll be loot again. No, what's... What you find is what you got, and that's what you're stuck with. The rest of the game, you go back there, there's gonna be nothing. 
This is a cliff, isn't it? Yeah, no walking down that. Dead gummit. And there's a full can of soda up here. I'm going back up here, aren't I? This is sending me to the what? Lookout it's tower. Dark out here. Time yeah. to look for shelter. No, I'm not trying to go to the lookout tower, but this is where. I'm pretty sure this is sending me to the lookout tower. I don't want to be at the lookout tower. I think I can make it. Well, there's no turning back now. If I could or not. Okay, down here. My problem is, is I think I'm gonna get down here and then not be able to get back up. Alrighty. We made it down, ladies and gentlemen. Now to just go find my way back to the cabin. Oh, wonderful. Oh, no. Yeah, he's running off. Okay, well, at least I can protect myself now with my boomstick. Oh, fire stick. What the Native Americans call it? I think they called it fire stick. Yeah, I think it's a fire stick. I don't know, man. I'm not caught up with my history. So that's a frozen lake, like I thought. And I've still got a long way to go. This is all a part of that. There's a building down there. Camp for the night? No. Wouldn't have anything to sleep. I'm not getting very cold very fast because I have a very, very warm and clothes on. And a good many of them, too. So a straight line from where I'm at. It's gonna be a little tough. Cause things my pack is getting a heavier as we speak. Because of the lack of sleep. Oh my goodness, that is a long way down. Let's point back in the direction I'm supposed to go and let us see. Let's see if we can find a find a slope it's not as steep as what we're facing here it may be impossible but we're gonna try you're looking at it I think it no 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 here we go here we go this is a nice little slope I just have several more hills to climb over before I get back not that far not that far it's okay it's okay we can, I can make it. I can make it. Just a little further. I'm tired. I'm really tired. But I just got a little further to go. Gotta give you pips. Give yourself some pep talks. You know what I'm saying? Over the hill into the woods to grandmother's house we go. Why'd grandmother have to decide to live so far away? I think we should look into relocating grandmother. Oh, grandmama, is that you? No. Can I eat owl? See, that's the thing, I don't even have to worry about hunger or water anymore. Well, very much. I just have to worry about how much I'm carrying. Oh, don't die on me. Okay, OBS is still good. Everything's still good. Don't worry about it. It's just the game. It's just the game. <gasps> is that the log cabin? It is. It's right there. We're almost home. We're almost home. I'm bringing goodies. I went to the grocery store. Got some wolf. Got some other stuff. You're going to enjoy it. Let me just get there. 
It's an odd placing for the house, but you know, that's where we wanted it. That's where we wanted it, and you know, looking back, I don't regret it because it's a lovely little place. I wish I could get back to it soon. It's right there. I'm just let's hurry up. Man, you need to do some working out. Yeah, I'm getting a little good on me. You go see the gym once in a while. You know, for a person that has to walk around a lot, I sure don't have very good stamina. I don't know, I understand I'm tired, but even in that fact. Hello. How are you feeling? Just stab him. Just <laughs> <coughs> oh. Oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. Take it easy. You're pretty banged up. You're probably a bit delirious too. I just gave you a shot of some heavy antibiotics. Might feel funny for a while, but it'll help. It means you're gonna need some time to recover. <laughs> time? You don't have time. We need to get a message out. To who? It's important. To, to who? <laughs> message. You mean to your friend, asking for medical help? Never mind that. Help me up so I can look at the radio. Let's see if the parts you brought back are any good. How did you know I bought parts back? Are you psychic? I never told you I bought parts back. How did how did you know I bought parts back? I'm scared. I feel like it's not gonna work. That's a military shortwave, isn't it? Maybe. I know a bit about radios. That's not like any surplus I've ever seen. Ah, damn it! Parts look fine. So, whatever's wrong with the radio goes deeper than that. What could it be? Uh, something to do with the power. <laughs> the fact and the fact that there Fences. is none. Transformers, maybe. We have bigger problems to deal with first. That bear's out there hunting us. He's a smart old bastard. He'll keep us from getting out, getting supplies, finding help. Eventually, he'll either get us or starve us out. I seem to get food just fine, so I think we're gonna be okay. Well, then there's, there's, there's a bed right there. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get you. Oh, so now we talk, eh? What about the dam? The dam was pretty busted up, like you said place was cracked open by the quake years ago and never recovered. Mm-hmm. Does it? It was already half dead at the time. Oh. Meaning? The dam dates back to the 60s. Industrialists from the mainland wanted to use it to power a mining town he was planning to build. But the bottom fell out of the price of coal, and he had to abandon those plans. Some fool tried to get it running again in the 80s. But then the forest talkers got involved, and that was the end of it. Pretty sure the Quakes finished the job once and for all. Yeah, I think my next thing would be, what the heck is a forest so, talker? Who are the forest talkers? Eco-terrorists. Activists, some call them. Depends on who you talk to, I guess. Mm -hmm. Why are they out here? Well... They've been active for years. They come and go. Mm -hmm. Mostly here to throw a wrench in the works for a variety of resource projects, mining, forestry mainly. They want Great Bear to remain a pristine wilderness. You don't sound like you agree. Oh, I have no love for industry. But this is the way of the world. You have something they want. They take it. Nothing much you can do to stop it. Well, judging by what I saw in the dam, I'd say the forest talkers are still active. Well, that's good news for you. 
Keep your eyes open for supply caches they might have left behind. Can you tell me anything about where we are? Well, this whole area takes its name from Mystery Lake nearby. It's kind of a wilderness preserve. Though you wouldn't know it from the logging trucks. Not much around there, apart from some lake cabins that'll be locked up for the season. You've already seen the dam. Railroad passes through the area. Trains come through once in a while. Fewer every year. Whole area's mostly dead. Most of the year. You sound like you like it that way. <laughs> yeah. I sure do. So, no other people living out here? You gotta understand. The collapse destroyed Great Bear. There's nothing here to stay for. You meet anyone out here? Chances are they're hiding from something. Or someone. And you? Why are you here? I have my reasons. What's this unfinished business between you and the bear? Ah. <laughs> Me and the old bear. Every time we meet, we make a little trade. And what do you trade? <laughs> Each other's blood, mostly. Sounds like a losing proposition. Oh, I'm sure it will be. For one of us. The main reason I'm out here is I'm looking for someone. Ha! <laughs> won't find too many people out here. That's kind of the whole point. This is someone important to me. A woman. She may have passed through here a few days ago. She might have been injured. What makes you think she came through here? She passed through the tunnel leaving Milton. Then... I'm not sure. Well... The roads from Milton don't lead this way. Wherever she's headed... You'll have to cross the mountains to find her. Not an easy path. Even for the most experienced outdoorsman. I'll do whatever it takes. Well, you won't get far with that bear on the prowl. What we need is to get my radio up and running, so we can find out what the hell is going on. Maybe someone out there has seen your friend. The woman I'm looking for. She might be on her way to a place called Perseverance Mills. You know it? Yeah. Shit, nothing town. North part of the island? Sounds about right. Yeah, I know it. We were on our way there, my passenger and I, when we crashed. I need to find a way to get there, or contact her. See if she's alright. You sure she's alive? Yeah. I'm sure. Well, normally I'd make some calls on the old shortwave. Whole area's been damn quiet since those lights in the sky. Even the wildlife's acting strange. But I might have an idea. What do you mean, the wildlife's acting strange? You live out here long enough, you get a sense for the patterns in nature. Right now? Patterns are broken. Critters aren't behaving the way they should. It's like they're spooked or something. No. Not spooked. But changed somehow. Best way I can say it is things don't feel right. You said you had an idea. What do you have in mind? Well, it's a long shot. But I may know how we can find out about your friend. I'm listening. This shortwave. I use it to keep an ear open for what's going on. So how do we get the radio working? There's no reason I can see why it shouldn't be working. Well, what about more parts? Or another radio? We might find another radio. But I think I have a better idea. Problem is... It's no use with the old bear out there. Your path to a working radio, and our survival, 
is through that bear. We have to find a way to deal with him first. Okay. So we have to deal with the bear. But you're half dead, and rifle shots don't seem to do much. So... That's because the old bear is special. I've been hunting and trapping for years, and I've shot a lot of bears. But I've never encountered anything quite like him. A special bear like that needs special magic to bring him down. Uh, magic? <laughs> don't worry. I'm not delirious. I don't mean literal magic. But we need the old knowledge. The old ways. What do you have in mind? There's an old story. Local legend, maybe, about one of the original settlers of this place, Spence. The story goes something like this. Spence shows up and sets up his claim shanty with his young family in tow. For generations, the family had been traders in the Hudson's Bay Company. Old voyageur stock, they say. Hard people. Survivors. One day, a bear shows up and menaces the homestead. Spence takes a shot at the bear, but it doesn't seem to do anything. The bear wanders off, but Spence's wife, she takes a turn, slips into fever. For days, delirious, she screams about the bear. Local doctor can't do a thing for her, neither can the priest. A week later, a hired hand goes missing, and they find him. Just a body, ravaged. Spence fears for his wife and kids. He's convinced some evil bear spirit is trying to kill them. Revenge for some slight in the past, maybe. Something in the family history. Spence gets some men together for a hunting party. They go out into the muskeg and track something big for days. Eventually corner it. Ah, it's a big son of a bitch. Biggest bear they'd ever seen. Man killer story goes, they empty their rifles into the bear and it just walks away, like it's made of stone. They call it the demon bear after that. Wife's dying now. Spence believes the bear's evil spirit is killing her, eating her soul. He can't get anyone to join him on another hunting party. They know rifles don't work. So he forges a spear, like a boar spear, but bigger. From some old Hudson's Bay trapper's wisdom, apparently. He goes out into the muskeg, disappears for days. And then one morning, the wife's fever breaks. But nothing from Spence. Some men go out looking for him. And they find him. Half dead. Blood all over him. Body torn almost in two. The bears work. The last thing he says is, Spear stole the bear's soul. My wife is now free. And then he's gone. So, did he kill the bear? Nobody knows. Never found a carcass. They buried Spence, took the spear back, and hung it over the mantelpiece in the Spence homestead. Never saw that bear. Or any other. Again. Years later, after the Spence family faded to obscurity, wealthy land baron bought the spear to hang in his hunting lodge. Just so he could tell that story, I imagine. So, do you believe it? The story of the demon bear and the spear stealing its soul? What? <laughs> no. Of course not. I, I might spend all my time alone in the wilderness, but I'm not crazy. But the old stories sometimes have truths hidden in them. Spence might have been superstitious, but he had the right idea. Ten inches of cold, hard steel might do what a bullet can't. I'm convinced. A spear's the way to kill that bear, and you need to get Spence's bear-killing spear if we're going to survive the winter. The old hunting lodge is still there. A couple of days' journey south. Follow the tracks the other way, through the muskeg, and you'll find it. If the spear's there, get it. Which direction did you say? It might be our 
festival. I wasn't paying attention. Radio? You deal with the bear. And let me worry about the radio. <coughs> <coughs> now, let me rest. <laughs> Good luck out there. Watch out for our demon. Right. You mean the bear? Chapter two, the best defense. Where the heck was I supposed to go? Uh, no, 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 I'm gonna have to go through this one to get to get to this one from there I guess then I go all the way to this one or is that the one I'm supposed to go to and then I gotta go to here which is gonna take me to here which is gonna take me to here oh. okay first of all I'm gonna need a lot, but I can't carry a lot. I did not mean to drop that. Regio. Come back here. Okay. So I'm gonna need a lot, but I can't carry a lot. So I don't I don't really know. Put this slab of meat down so that we put an hour and oh, just a minute. I almost got over an hour. I'm not even I can't take these. Uh what the heck, man? That's going to be a long way. Where did I put the bedroll? Because I don't have one. It's dark. Open this. Or take your time. Take your time. No one's in a rush. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to take these so I can cook those. Because those will give me a lot of food in one time. And what I'll do to make up for that is get rid of a lot of this. Okay, so I went to sleep. I'm fed. I'm ready to go. And I have plus five kilograms again. So now I have room to keep stuff. I also have everything cooked. I have two liters of water and a long trip ahead of me. So I think we're ready to move out. Rock and roll. <sighs> stretch, stretch. After this, I'm taking a nap. Oh, man. Okay. Let's head on that way. And I'll see you dudes. When I get to this tunnel, because that's... I don't think anything's going to happen between here and there, so... Bye! Die? Hey, you need close though. I must hit you in your leg or something. Come here, boy. I will put you out of your misery. I definitely hit you. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm not like gonna try to shoot you to kill you just to be mean or anything, but like, you know, put you out of your misery because you are hurting now. There's no way I'm gonna catch him. I just wish that I got him on the first shot, and then he wouldn't have ran off, and now he's injured and hurting and suffering. But he was coming after me, so, you know, I had to do what I had to do. But I know it's a video game. You don't have to tell me. I still have a human conscience, though. Okay. Now we're in. I told you. I have to go all the way over here and then go all the way through that one. But, you know, new area, new sights to behold might be quite nice taking a very lovely stroll through the new faces and as you may notice I'm not heavy because I decided to take the time to 
get rid of a lot of things that I didn't need or will probably not need on this journey because it's not going to take that long and also I want to determine by how far I've gone so far it might be like a two days journey getting there and probably another two days getting back but I can do it without having a big pack on my back full of stuff I just am worried that I might have a friend come and stop by and say hello because he seems to know how to track us down and he seems to be hunting us for sport not gonna lie this is this is honestly very beautiful I, I know I say it all the time but look at it look at this game and it's not even the realistic like super realistic type of beautiful it's just the art style mixed with the wilderness it just it really complements each other Ooh, that tree I saw it very quickly out of the corner of my eye and it looked scarily like a bear with the sights on this thing I'm a bit far to make an accurate shot but I don't want to get too close because I smell pretty good Actually, I'm going to crouch. I know crouching is not going to help because I smell, but maybe since he's distracted by eating already, maybe he thinks if he smells something, it'll just be his, his own game he's eating. I don't really want to waste bullets. I know, so I'm too cold to worry about it right now. Too cold to think. Well, I'm not, and I'm doing all of your thinking, so don't worry about it, man. I think running in that situation was probably not the best idea, but, you know, brain go, uh-oh, and then you go gone. <laughs> I was about to crack under my feet. That's a nice touch, even though I think it might be too cold for that to be a possibility, because that ice would be very, very thick. I'm not used to cold weather, like this cold, where there's actually enough ice, well, ice that's thick enough for you to actually walk on it. Never happened a day in my life where I live at, so I guess I can make a fire here. I don't have the wood. I got rid of the wood thinking, oh, you know, it'd be easy to find wood on the way there. It's not been that easy. Cedar. Nice. Please be it. Nope, you're a branch. Okay. I don't want to take the time to do that. Let me get off of the ice. And we better warm up. Please. Fire. Making a fire is a bit harder than you would think, apparently. I know where to make it. I guess it has to be on flat ground, and none of this is flat ground. Right here. Right here. Sure. Can I make it on ice? I don't think I can make it on ice, because it would melt right through, you know. I honestly don't think I can make it on any of this. Oh! Never mind. Well, would you look at that? Please work, please work, please work, please work. You're gonna work, right? Yeah. Come on. Thank goodness for that. Got me a little bit of fire. And I'm also going to have to refill my water. I had two liters and I drank it one time. And I went down to that. Now that I'm warm. And it got foggy fast. Now that I'm warm we can move on to the next area. And off to forlorn. No. We're leaving that place. Off to the next one. How far do I have to go? I have to go 
around the curves and then up I think it's kind of hard to tell I'll know more when I get there I was not expecting that I found my way around oh well, this is dangerous ow times I walk by that and missed it, but <sighs> uh, I found it in the end, so that's all that matters. Well, look what we found here. All this track. And we finally find the engine. Where I wonder let me yet. Let me yet. Have access. I might be able to crawl inside of you, though. Oh. And that didn't hurt. After all that, and that it, and that didn't hurt. All this whining and complaining, and now, since we're here already, let me go ahead and make a fire. Hopefully it works, because I don't have any, any more firewood. At least not enough to really, you know, do anything. Once I get the fire going, that would be it. Yeah. I have a little over an hour worth of fire. Okay, see if I can put my bed roll in here. It's a bit steep of a slope. Maybe I can find a good spot. Even if I find a spot over there, I might be able to use it. I now cannot go that way because of the fire I built. Oh, oh yeah, I can. Okay. Maybe okay, just right there. That works. You know, if it wasn't for how cold it is and that you're in an enclosed area made entirely of metal, I would worry about starting a forest fire, but the fact that this is a video game Oh shit. Oh, hello. Ah, well, I don't think he just, I think he just doesn't want to leave me alone. Look. Oh. The lights. Yeah. Power? Power? I can't feel my hands. I still have a sprained ankle. There's power? Is that a camp? Yeah, the campfire. <laughs> Methuselah! Uh, do you have bandages? Kinda need some. Methuselah? What the heck are you? Why are your eyes glowing green? Methuselah, we need to talk. Y you again. How goes the war, my friend? Uh, war? The war between man and nature, of course. The lights in the sky. You and the bear. The cold. Hunger. The old fights returning. Did you scare the bear away? There was no bear when I found you. 
Perhaps it isn't yet time for your paths to cross? Listen, old man. I'm not sure... You still believe things are going to go back to the way they were? No, not at this Lights point. The sky. Remember, I said they were a reckoning. Yeah. Powering the lights around us? Now you see. This can't be. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, and yet it has happened. You got me there. His eyes were glowing green, and there's lights in the sky. I think I get to pick one, and then I don't get the other one. So, you know, let's talk about the lights. So, this is some kind of recurring aurora borealis? Possibly. And it's affecting the electricity? The power? And everything dependent on it. Animating it, or destroying it. Perhaps both. And you knew this was coming? No, but it was only a matter of time. This has all happened before. You said that, I've but didn't explain. I've had a lot of wildlife lately. Is it always this dangerous around here? I've seen many strange things, of course. But the birds and beasts, their rhythms are their own. Meaning? The patterns of nature have been interrupted, broken. Even those who once knew how to read them are now confused. Yeah, what do you think saw that? Wildlife? I can't say for sure, but the lights in the sky may hold the answer. So you think the aurora is influencing the wildlife too? There is much in nature that we cannot understand. Would it be so strange? Nah. Okay. Thank you, Matuzula. Always nice chatting with you. And this is the right way. I feel like I have something in my eye. Hear that wolf. I see him too. I'm too cold to shoot straight. Way too cold to shoot straight. Still shoot him. If I can get a good bead on him. No. Nope. No. Nope. Probably should have stayed by that fire a little bit longer. How much further until um, I mean it's a yard. It might have something some place in there I can stay. Yeah, there's a building right there. I need sticks. Right in your face, how'd you not die? Oh, and I did hit that other one, okay. If I can get in that truck, will it be powered enough to heat in the truck? Maybe. Heat? Radio still doesn't work. Nothing in the visors. And there's probably gonna be nothing in that. That'll come in handy. First time ever. Nothing, something in the glove box. Let's see what happens when I go inside. No one's locked. Got this one. Ah, uh, yes. Nice and hospitable. Yeah, 
you better run. I need wood. Damn. I need wood because I'm about to die of coldness. The cold is going to get to me. Can I break down pallets? For 16 lumber, I'm going to die. Going to die. 16 reclaimed wood. That's a lot. Oh, I didn't even realize there's blood. Can I close the door? No. They hate the light. Who hates the light? Oh. The dogs hate the light. That makes sense. They hate light of any sort. So stay lit. Come on. Good job. Work. Man, your life depends on the building fire and Come then you're gonna fail. Come on. You got it, you got it. There you go. I'm taking that book. You ain't kidding. Those lights in the sky are doing some funny things to the machines around here. We found this old shed and the computers started turning on by themselves. Lamps lighting up. We've been trying to call down to the main office when the aurora or whatever it's called is out. But we're not getting through. Can't tell if the phones even work. There are just a handful of us from the winter crew hold, hold up here. Some of them want to try for the coast and the settlements there. If you want this, if you find this, what that's where we've gone. But we're hoping Brayer House sends a team up before it comes to that. Even with the fire barrel we bought, brought indoors, it's a bitter cold. So you're talking about this fire barrel? Belly stove. Add that book. Give me a little bit more work. Oh, I can go inside. I wonder how many lights are gonna be on. Oh. Seizure warning. Well, this is odd. But I'm gonna have to leave it there. Sorry, but it's gonna have to happen because I've got some other stuff I gotta get done. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, subscribe if you're new. And other than that, I really got nothing else to say. Just have a good one. And be safe out there.